Oh, coffee, hey, thanks, Chris. I need this right now. Isn't this your coffee? Like that's been sitting here for like four days. Too late now, it's finished. It's been a while. Where's all the initial D fan jets? Chris is a huge fan. Good afternoon, Chris. And thank you, Chris, for shooting me, for sticking with me. And again, thank you to Sony for supplying the camera so you guys get all these beautiful shots. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Primus. This was Chris's idea, by the way, to wear this thing. Have you guys watched the initial D, the movie, the Hong Kong version? There's a guy named Jordan Chan. I don't know the... You know, I'm not an initial D fan. I don't know anime stuff. One of the guys in there dressed up like this. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. So thanks, Chris, for making me wear this thing. So I'm pretty sure this is my first time to look at the brand Kata. You know, I'm getting a little old. I can't remember what brands I'm reviewing anymore. And now there's so many of them. Anyway, Kata or Kata, or is it Kaka? Kata is known for doing all vehicle stuff. I'm not, I know a lot of you guys are like, Scotty, review some vehicles. Man, I'm not a vehicle guy, but all right, I'm building a couple right now. And their sets are authorized, they're licensed, they're legit and the brick qualities is pretty good to me. But yeah, so we're gonna look at this because this is a modular building that I'm pretty sure this is their first building that goes with the anime and they have all the cars and vehicles. So if you like, comment and subscribe to this video and give me some hope. Maybe I'll review those vehicles right now. I'm actually building the Truno. Is it called Truno? Is that the name of the car? Truno, is it Truno guys? Torino, is it Torino? Torino, Torino, Truno, I don't know. Yeah, that's how much I know about cars, yo. But I have a couple cars. Unfortunately, the car that I'm building is way bigger than the set. So if you want the car to go with the set, you got to get the eight stud version, which I'll put the links in the description anyway. So if you guys want to buy it. Yeah, that's another thing too. The set is available at my store, bigmeupscotty.com. And what do I think about it? Well, let me tell you what it is first. So we're looking at Kada's Initial D Fujiara Tofu Shop. C61031, 1,908 pieces. Bam, look at this bad boy. Yo, this thing was legit, man. Like, in terms of quality and build, I was just kind of floored by it. I'm like, it's not too big. Does it go with your brick city and your modulars? First thing you gotta know is that this is not on a standard base plate, so it's a little bit bigger. The other thing is it's slightly thicker down here. A normal base plate is kind of flat, so this is kind of raised. You might want to shift or modify things if you're going to build it onto a regular standard base plate. But man, I was like, dude, Chris, I think I built this in like one night. I was having so much fun with it. It totally reminded me of doing the Oxford Block reviews. If you've seen my like Shin Chan house, one of my favorite sets, it felt like I was doing that. Like, this is so good. It's so refined. It's so well polished, I guess. You can say it's refreshing, man. Might not look all that to you on the outside, but if you're into the Japanese theme like me, this is... You gotta get it, man. Get it right now. Get it before it gets sold out. So here's the instructions. You get four of them. They could as well squeeze it into one book, but they're trying to be like big L, make it legit, you know? So when you open it up here, it's actually really simple and easy to read. Each section is just like one or two bricks. They could have combined it all together. You would have been fine. But hey, that's nice of Kata to do it this way. And if I flip it to the back, I don't have the box here. I'm sorry, guys. On the back side here, you can see where it's all licensed and the copyright, all that good stuff. Good on you, Kata. Keep going, man. I want to see more of this stuff. Ooh, look at all those parts. And all their bricks are totally their own. They have like the logo printed on the studs. Maybe I'll show you a close up of what that looks like. Yeah, very simple to read. And I like these pages on the back where it tells you where the stickers are. So don't put the stickers on when you get to the final pages. Do you have a choice? And you can see where you're supposed to put the stickers on. So I was telling Chris, this is so cool. It comes with this brick separator. That isn't like, I've never seen this before. Maybe Kata does these normally, but I'm like, whoa, it's got nice and fat right there. But oh, I like this one, man. It makes me want to just keep this and use this every time I'm snapping off those pieces. That's nice. And it comes with this sign piece right there. This doesn't actually go on the set, but this is a nice print. Hey, it's not a sticker. This set does come with stickers. Not too many. Quality was actually pretty A-OK. -okay. But they do have a big one that's going across a bunch of tiles. So that one, you know, to see if you like it or not. If you want it to be just like the anime, you've got to use it. So let's look at the exterior here. Very cool. I like the shape and the look. I don't know if this follows exactly the anime. 
but I'm sure you guys who watch the show, it should. Why would they make it look different? But hey, it looks really awesome. And I like how it's symmetrical or like very sharp. It's not rounded off or anything. And if you look on the front here, it's all tiled. Great. And this is the spot right here where you're supposed to fit your car. Sorry, man. The size I'm building is too big, so maybe later on when I review the cars, we'll break the set out again and I'll put them on here so you guys can see clearly. But you know, it's supposed to fit your eight stud or speed champion cars if you want to put them there or you know, whatever car you want. Maybe you don't want to put the initial D car there or the Torino or Truno. Boy, I'm bad, man. I know I'm getting dislikes right now because I'm saying it wrong. The telephone pole is cool, but it keeps falling over on me. I just kind of wish they had the, like the Technic, what is it, the rod to go inside to hold it down tighter. That would have been a little bit better. But I like the look of it. It looks like it has some lights on there or supposed to be lights. But it's dynamic and it's different enough. I haven't seen that before. This tree is a little bit loose. I'm not sure why they're using a Christmas tree here. It should be like a bigger tree. Maybe you can take your own cherry blossom tree from the symbol sets, which we still have on the store and are still super popular. You can build your own tree right there. Make it stand out more. There are a couple of loose pieces here. There's this ladder. I guess the character goes up to the second floor. Is that right, Chris? They, I don't know. I don't know why they have this loose ladder. Hey, that, that's cool, man. And you got a piece of pallet here or the wood piece construction. It's just a little decoration. You can move these things around. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. And just to show you quickly the back here, you guys, it's totally plain, unfortunately, but that's fine. At least you got one window down here. And on the side here, you got a couple windows there. I don't know, man, I'm totally fine with that because the inside of this thing is incredible. I was like, whoa. Now, before we jump into the inside, let's bring it back here real quick just to show you a little bit more of the front here. We got this thing right here. What is this? Tofu. This tofu being dried out or aired out. I like the look of the front here with the red bricks or maroon bricks. The windows there, those are stickers on the windows. They have some detail on them. They're all in Japanese, but it looks like, you know, the for sale sign and the windows can actually open up. And there's this transparent door. I like that door. So this part right here is what I'm talking about. That's one long piece of sticker. So if I sell the set in the future, you're gonna have to just get like one long piece here because I ain't gonna take that off again. And there's a couple more stickers on the side. It's Japanese there, I'm sure it translates to the name of the shop. And underneath, they use little joystick pieces here. I think this is like to hold, look like it's holding up the sign. You know, it might look okay without the sticker, but I, you know, I put a picture right now that you guys can see the picture because I do have that shot. Because I lost the sticker sheet and I found it. Ooh, thank goodness. But anyway, you can decide if you want that sticker or not. And I like this level right here, like the, the, the look of it and the design. It's so Oxford blocky. Like this is my dream build, man. Even though it's very small. They have a couple windows here that don't open up because of the rail in the way, but I like the, the grid look to it. The design of the walls here is really good. I like the look. I guess these are like pipes on the outside. That is so cool though, the, the attention to detail on that. They could have made it plain, but they put something there and that looks really neat. I like this little chance clear piece that they put there. So it looks like the power box maybe. And they have a couple of these pieces in between the window that just gives off a different vibe, like a different look. It's like protruding a little bit. So they have a back wall here, a little bit of design to it. That's where you're gonna park your car. There's a little storage box here. There's a little stick or a little piece in there that maybe that's just the, like the mechanics or the bin, the trash, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like floating out there. That was kind of weird. What you could do is put the, where did I put that sign? You can put this logo piece here if you wanted to. But I'll take it off now so Chris doesn't get confused. That doesn't belong on the set. Now, kind of like the other sets we reviewed before, this one actually does open up like a dollhouse, but I think that's actually fine it, because it opens up really awesome. So I go down here. Look at that. Bottom floor can open up. There. And the second floor can also open up. There. Whoa. It's so easy to open up. Look at that right there, right? Maybe you want to display your set this way and be like, yo, check that out. So that to me is actually a pretty cool design. Did they have to do that? Probably not because you can actually take this thing off like a modular. So let's take it off. Let's see how easy it is to take off this thing. Take off this floor first. Look at that. Oh, this thing is solid, feels like a rock. Now, the only thing is, yeah, the awning piece does kind of stick out a little bit, so the height won't be even, so it might pop off as you're building it. We'll put that to the side here. And now, I can flip it this way and be like, whoa, look at that. 
this is the tofu shop. That's all I know. But if you've been buying all the Japanese collections from me, this is gonna be perfect for you. You can swing this thing open or not. You can just leave it closed if you wanted to. So you walk into the front door. There's a, like a couple, like there's a wall of pattern right there. I'm not sure what that is. Those are stickers along the wall. You got a mirror and a calendar. What is that? It looks, it looks like kind of a part of a bathroom, but it can't be, it's the front of the store. Again, just shows you how much I know this cartoon. All you experts, please fill it up in the comments if you know what, exactly what we're looking at. So you got the counter here to buy some tofu. Two counters, they're very similar to each other. Ooh, look guys, it's all tiled. Thank you for tiling up this place. My favorite part is probably the back wall here. You got all the machines there to make the tofu. It is a little bit loose. You might want to put an extra piece underneath to hold down better. But the machine over here holds down just fine. Look, you got the, the pipes there, and you kind of know it's like a big machine. You got a couple little pieces on the floor, containers there, and even this thing, I don't know what this thing is. I guess that's where they drain the tofu out. And you come back to the window here, there is a sink there. I guess that's where you wash the tofu. And all the little white pieces must be the tofu. Eat your bean curd, yo. Before we go into the back room, there is one refrigerator there. I like it. I mean, it doesn't function or anything, but the look of it is it's simple enough, but you know that's a fridge. And there are a couple of stickers here on the, the top, the flaps for the doors. So, you know, you don't really have to put the stickers on those, in my opinion. Look fine without them. So you walk through this flap and you come into this very tiny room, having this feature of this opening all the way up. Adds a little bit of more playability for your kids can play with it. All tiled in this room as well. Hey, I love the TV, man. That is a sticker on there. It looks like a car driving. You got a little table in the middle and little seats. All the chairs are like just one piece. It's like cushions that you sit down on your knees, right? Japanese style. You got a little cabinet here with a touch of flowers on it. That's nice. And the back wall has another cabinet there. Unfortunately, those are stickers on there. On this wall is a sticker of a towel. Here you got calendar, telephone, and clock. And then you come up into this room which is really tight, all right? This is the only tightest place in the house. The staircase, that staircase is so sturdy, man. This thing is not gonna fall apart on you, which is what I found amazing, except for this telephone pole. That freaks me out. Yeah, that's the first floor for you. So even if you're not an initial D fan, this could be for you. Remember not? Maybe I'm wrong. So this top piece comes off as well, the rooftop part. I think the only thing I was confused about is like, it don't really tell you how to line up the rooftop part. So I might've been wrong already, but you, you, cause it, there's no like, you can make it more forward, you can make it more back. Y'all just kind of look at the book and take a wild guess how much further this thing comes out. And the only thing that is the most delicate is probably the rooftop. It's being held down, but it comes off like pretty easy. That's my only nitpicking part about this set. You have to kind of like flush it down. Oh, see the pieces are coming off here. So yeah, the rooftop part is probably the weakest. Chris can show you the beautiful shot of the rooftop. They use these pieces that I think Oxford used them or Wange used them, but they look kind of different at the same time. I don't know, but that's kind of cool. I like the pattern of that. There's nothing in this part of the rooftop. This is totally hollow. And even here, if I take this back off again, yeah, you can see the structure of that. You can take this piece off. Yeah, nothing there. You can always add little extra things there. But it was fun to put this together. I'm like, oh, this is so, so different, so unique. I'll put this back here, put this to the side first. So you come upstairs and we go into this room. Ooh, tiny room. It's like the bedroom or the apartment. The coolest thing is, it's all tile. Thank you, Kata, for tiling your stuff. Man, if Kata actually made modular building, I think it would be pretty insane. So please, Kata, if you're out there, if you've seen this video, make some modular buildings and send them my way. They come up the staircase, tiled, nothing in this floor. I like the doors that they use. I think these are car doors as well, or like van doors. You come into this room here first. This is, oh, I can just do it like this. And Chris is so happy now. He can get the shot much easier this way. You got a little table in the middle there. Again, the chairs or the cushions flush down below. I like the checkered pattern look to it. A very simple bookcase there in the corner. A little bit more flowers going on there. And it just looks like a little makeup or a, like a nightstand area here. Clock along the wall. Maybe that's supposed to be a trash can on the side, I guess. That's really small, man. And then you come through this door and you enter in to the bedroom. I like the design of the bed. That's crazy looking. Those are like blankets or, you know, folded up sheets. I think this is like a table that goes over bed, kind of like one of those hospital table things. I don't know, man. I don't watch the show, but I like the look of it. I like the color. 
it's not like crazy bright at all. Along the back wall, you got two pictures. The initial D, Taru no car. Man, I should research all this stuff before I shoot myself. I'm sure you guys are having a good laugh. The sticker beside the car is just the logo, initial D. And along this wall here, it looks like another thick cabinet, but I like the little stereo on top. That was a nice touch. Got a couple more stickers here, the speed. And then I like the table. That's a funky way of doing a chair. I don't think I've seen that before, but great. They're able to take a chair piece and kind of raise it up a little bit. You got this cool table here. I don't know if that's supposed to be a telephone or a mirror. And you got some objects here. It looks like some books. And the back wall is kind of cool. This is a very simple tile piece, but it's got some stickers on there. It looks like grass and charts. And look at this crazy light. I've never seen this kind of light before. And same deal with the windows here. They, they open up inwards. They're not supposed to open up, but I like the gridded look. And hey man, that's pretty much it for the set. How short was that? But wow. I was just amazed by the quality and the feel of this. So I'm trying to line up the rooftop here, but it shows like on the photo, it kind of goes over this part. So that's the, the mark right there and maybe flat to the back. So I guess it's kind of like that. Sticks out like that. I'll, I'll, I'll let Chris figure that out. Even I don't know. But anyway, we'll put these all, these spare pieces back here. So break out your 32 by 32 plates, your one by four bricks. I'll put this here first. So you can see for yourself whether or not this is for your city. If I put it side by side there, that is 32 studs. So I put it on this side here, it's just around 34 studs. It's just over. I really do wish they kind of just kept one plate instead of doing multiples. You know what, in fact, if I just show you very quickly, see if I can flip this thing upside down to show you. Look at all those plates. I think they could have just pretty more or less put it on the base plate. If I just directly put it on here, go like that. Yeah. You don't need this part, man. Just move this side to here, shave it off there. You guys can just do it yourself. Put it on a 32 by 32. Don't use these little multiple plates. Now break out your one by four bricks. I'm just kidding. Okay, here's my brick. Stack it up here. Ooh, look at that. It's more or less 20 bricks in height. So there is your dimension. As I mentioned, the set has no minifigures, so I've decided to take one anime character from another set, hmm, I wonder where from, and put him on this set. I'm just doing this so you guys can see a size comparison, and, you know, later on when I do the cars, I'll bring the set back out and you know, compare with the car with the set, so just relax and take a look and see what you think. So now it is time to drop this thing. I'm not even done with the video yet. I'm just gonna drop it first because I'm here. Might as well just do it, get out of the way. Let's see if Kara can hold up with their set. Okay, to be expected, the telephone pole came off, the rooftop, yeah, I kind of had a feeling that was gonna fly off, very loose. So that actually did loosen up this rooftop piece. So that probably shows you right here, that is the most flimsiest part of the build. Hey, see, you never know these things until I do it, right? But this part is like totally secure and nothing moved on this floor at all. Everything is intact, surprisingly, Nothing moved on this floor. Oh, well, a couple things did. Well, the machinery got moved a little bit, but it's very easy to put back together. Hey, okay So there you guys go. Brand new from Kata, the initial D tofu shop. 100% approval from Scotty. Kata, please make more of these. I don't care what anime it's from. I need more buildings, man. Forget your vehicles. We don't need your vehicles. I'm just kidding. Those are pretty good too. So thank you so much, guys. For joining in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Help me make it grow! And don't forget the set is available on my store, BreakMeUpScotty.com. You guys are amazing. I'll try to get you more videos out faster. All right, 
So until next time, you guys, break me out. <laughs>